Perhaps as readers, we must pay attention to the desire for beautiful things, which is present in all people. Appreciate that in a real work of art, the author makes us feel the beauty of everything around. Disappointment is beautiful. Sorrow is beautiful. Life is beautiful. Hello, amazing people. A warm welcome back to my channel. A place where readers come to get inspired. If you are new here, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss a thing. In this part one of novel narrative, I'll walk you through the novel basics and materially small things. There are five areas we're going to be looking at. The first one being narrative perspective Michele uses in small things. Number two, how he structures the plot for this beautiful story. Number three, the caliber of characters and how they tell their stories. Number four, themes the novel addresses. And finally, the significance of setting, that is the social and historical context. Please note that most of the concepts discussed in this video can be adapted for short stories. Without any further delay, let's get straight to the lesson. In this particular lesson, we're going to be looking at the narrative. So who is the narrator? Whose voice is it? The person telling the story is the narrator. And we have what we call or refer to as first person, that is main character or lead character, if you like, the protagonist who tells the story. Then you have the narrator recounting events from the point of view that is referred to as first person narrator. Usually the pronoun I is used to show the story is told in first person narrator. Third person narrative tells the story from the writer's or an outsider's point of view. And characters here are always referred to as he, she, it, or they. Next is the setting and context. So setting is a time, place, and situation where actions happen. They help the readers understand the era, including the place at which the actions take place. And finally, provide background atmosphere for the characters and events. Next, we have what we call a story plot. So what is a story plot? A story plot is a writing device writers use to structure what happens in the story. It's usually made up of three parts. The first part being the beginning, which is the part where the main character is introduced or main characters are introduced and the situation or the problem. Then we have what we can refer to as the middle. This is the second part of the plot and this entails the turning point in the plot. We can sometimes refer it as the climax. Then you have the last part, the third part, which is referred to as the end, the conclusion. This is the resolution or a twist in the plot, or sometimes referred to as sting in the tail. Of course, a story cannot exist unless there are characters. Actually, not even a plot can exist without characters. So what are the roles of characters, or what is the role of a character in a story? The novel concerns itself, obviously, with character portrayal, so it portrays the character. The characters in the novel are responsible for the action. They drive the story. They drive the plot. We have what we call two types of characters. Um, one type is referred to as flat character or characters. Those are the ones who do not undergo a lot of change. They're very static. Then we have this other type referred to as round characters. These are the ones that are portrayed as dynamic Great changes happen in these characters. More is written about them. More is described of these characters. So as a bonus, I've given you two types or two tribes of characters I refer to as. These are the heroes and the villains. The heroes are the good guys. Positive words are used to describe them. Words such as honest, brave, humorous, moral integrity, conviction. Then you have the baddies called villains or bad people, bad guys, bad characters. 
words such as wicked, corrupt, bad, moody, arrogant are used. So we've really come to the end of uh, part one of our video and the next video I'll be looking at putting a bit of meat into these different sections that is who is the narrator, the setting and the context, the plot, the characters. So see you next time in my next video, that's part two. And thank you for watching.